Hello viewers, welcome to my channel KK Concepts of Electrical Engineering. Cool. Axial cable or capacitor. Now consider cable. This is radius A. And this is radius B. And this is rho. And inner layer is connected with the voltage V naught. And the outer layer is grounded. So boundary conditions for this is V equals to zero at rho equals to b v equals to v naught at rho equals to a since this cable is concentrated cylinder we will consider this so we will take the coordinates in cylindrical form that is rho phi and z then 1 by rho rho by dou rho of do rho v by do rho plus 1 by rho square do square v by do phi square plus do square v by do z square equals to 0 and cylindrical form. We know the law plus equation is delta square v equals to 0. V is not a function of phi and z these two terms will become zero this term remains and this must be equals to zero for that one by rho value never be zero then rho by dou rho of rho dou v by dou rho equals to zero integrating this the rho dv by d rho is equals to a which is a constant then do v by do rho is equals to a by rho now when you again integrate this then you are going to get v equals to log a log rho to the base e plus b so let this be equation number one now apply the boundary condition number one that is v equals to zero at rho equals to b then zero equals to a log b to the base e plus b then this implies b equals to minus a log b to the base e apply the condition boundary condition number two then v equals to v naught that equals to a log rho equals to a to the base e minus b value we know so we substituting the b value minus a log b to the base e from which we can take this a common log a by b to the base e equals to v naught a equals to v naught divided by log a by b to the base e the value of a and b in the equation number one v equals to v naught log a by b to the base e log rho to the base e minus so again a is there so v naught log a by b to the base e log b to the base e and taking this common v naught log a by b 
to the base e of log rho to the base e minus log b to the base e. So log rho by b to the base e since log a minus log b equals to log a by b then b equals to v naught of log rho by b to the base e divided by log a by b to the base e and this one is Laplace equation and which satisfies the boundary conditions so this is unique solution now we got these two equations delta square v equals to 0 and applying the boundary conditions we know v equals to minus dou v by dou rho unit matrix along the row v equals to minus a by rho u rho that equals to v naught divided by log b by a to the base e of rho and this is along u rho or d equals to epsilon naught e that equals to e naught epsilon naught divided by rho log b by a to the base e or u rho that is u n at rho equals to a d equals to dn that equals to rho s charge q equals to integral rho s ds that equals to rho s integral of ds equals to 2 pi a l l is the length of the conductor q rho s we know that is surface charge density the dn that equals to d so this is the value then epsilon naught e naught divided by rho log to the base e to the b by a 2 pi a l but here rho we have taken that as a so this is a now a a gets cancelled then you are going to get epsilon naught v naught 2 pi l divided by log to the base b by a to the base e capacitance c equals to magnitude of the charge divided by v naught hence c equals to q that is epsilon naught v naught 2 pi l divided by log log b by a to the base e divided by 1 by v naught v naught e naught gets cancelled then c equals to epsilon naught 2 pi l divided by log b by a to the base e capacitance of the coaxial cable in farads If you have any suggestions and queries, please mention in the comments. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. Please stay tuned for more videos.